Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've got a haul for you guys today. This is all the PR that I have received recently and for all of the companies that I'm working with. In this video, I have coupon codes to save you guys money if you wanna purchase any items from them. So I'll make sure that I have those listed on screen when the companies kind of change through and then also down in the description box below. I do really quickly just wanna apologize. I've been a little bit MIA the last couple of weeks. Last week I had planned to cut my week short because of the holiday weekend. By the way, how is everyone's 4th of July? Because I had a pretty great day. Um, we did a ton of fireworks, but I want to know what you guys did. And, but really, I just wanted to apologize for not being as active. I've had some stuff going on in my personal life that have made it a little bit difficult, but things are getting worked on and worked out so that I can be here posting consistently for you guys because it is so important to me. So the first brand is Model Ones. You guys know them, you know I love them. My code is on the screen for them. And this item is their foil kit. It comes with their foils. Of course, my very favorite foil glue gel, and then also some flame stickers and everything like that. So of course, everything will be linked down in the description box for you guys below if you're interested in any of the items you see in today's video. So these items next, it's a little kit assortment of like bling and things like that. And it is an item on Amazon, of course, link down below. These first ones are little metal roses and I was putting it on my nail there so you guys could see the size in comparison to my actual nail. So I hope that was helpful. It also comes with these AB flatback rhinestones. these clear flatback rhinestones, which I don't use clear very often, but I will use these because they're super cute. And then these really beautiful pearls. So up in this top corner, these three are flat back and then the rest of them are round in varying sizes and colors. Super cute item. So I also have some cuticle oil from Model Ones and I actually have I'm pretty sure it's the same oil that you'll see later in the video. It just has a different name and label on it, but it came from Model 1s as well. But I've been using the other one for a while now and I really like it. So I just decided to test this one on camera and it feels exactly the same to me and it's packaged in the same way. So I'm pretty positive it's the same considering they were both sent to me by Model 1s. It's just one says Model 1s and one says BNC. But I will have both of them linked down below just in case. And I just wanted to show you the little insert that came with it. I mean, cuticle oil is pretty easy, right? You just put it on and rub it in. <laughs> but they've just got some like little helpful hints about how to help your cuticles along. So a couple more items by Model Ones. First, we've got these dual forms, and these are my favorite dual forms to use because they are very straight on the sidewalls. They don't curve downward, which I do not like. So when I use these for anything other than an overlay, you definitely do need a second layer just to get the strength and structure where you need it to be so that the nails can be strong enough to like uphold throughout your wear time. But if you're just doing an overlay, just the one layer is perfect. And then this is the cuticle oil I was talking about that I've been using for a while. I'm sure you guys have seen it in some of my videos as well. We've also got a little mini dip kit, super pretty colors, and I'm very like anxious <laughs> to use this and do a design with it. I wanna know from you guys though, what do you guys wanna see me use from this video first? I definitely plan to use all of it in a video at some point, but I wanna know what you guys wanna see first. I just pretended like uh, I dropped those on purpose, right? <laughs> So these are the Model 1's Cat Eye Poly Gels. So I'm sure you guys have seen Cat Eye Gel Polishes, but these are Cat Eye Poly Gels. So this first one, I definitely went too thin in the application. With this formula, definitely more is better, and that's not always the case. It really does vary formula to formula, but because this was so thin, I had to press on it quite a bit, and this formula is very soft, very sticky. So when it was this thin, it was harder to work with, but also the cat eye effect did not come through on this shade nearly as 
strong as the other colors and I know that, that was just because of my product placement and not having enough thickness in there so just make sure that you're applying a good amount when you use it but these colors are gorgeous which you'll see there's six of them or maybe seven I think it's six yeah <laughs> they're all gorgeous though I love the cat eye effect so pretty and if you guys aren't familiar with the cat eye effect basically there is pigment throughout the product and you use a magnet these did not come to me with a magnet but I already had some I will double check and let you guys know in the description if the set comes with a magnet if you order it straight from the site but I had these sent to me like I said so it didn't come with a magnet for me but I had some so I just kind of played around with the magnets I had but basically it's got pigment throughout the product and then you use a magnet and it pulls all that pigment into one line or one design or one circle depending on the magnet that you use it's really a cool effect and you can do so much with it I will have a couple eye cards for you guys above showing you some designs that I did with some cat eye gels I think my favorite was a winter scene that I did and it was the sky that had the cat eye effect and it kind of almost gave it like a northern lights effect oh so pretty I love it and because this is so sticky that's why you keep seeing me press down with my finger on the brush because if there is any product still in your brush then when you go to touch the poly gel even if you have enough slip solution or alcohol on your brush it's still going to stick because it's product sticking to product so i just kind of use my finger to almost squeegee out the product out of the brush and then it's good so this magnet gives it almost kind of like an s shape and then i flipped it around just to do kind of like the line magnet then i will switch it here to this other one now so in order to keep my swatches kind of having like a continuity and like just having the same kind of effect so you can tell they're all the same products I like to use the same magnet on all of the colors so that was why I started with the other ones just to show you the effect but then I finished it out with this one and like that those diagonal lines you're seeing that's all that pigment being drawn to create that effect it's so pretty and oh my gosh this color is gorgeous it is gorgeous <laughs> this one's definitely one of my favorites it gives like um almost like a teal cat eye with like that bluish bluish green coloring you'll see it you'll see what i'm talking about it's so pretty oh i love it <laughs> and model ones is the only company that i'm aware of that has this formula at this time i don't think there's another company on the market right now that has a cat eye poly gel effect look at that isn't that so pretty oh my gosh it's so beautiful that blue line with that teal green around it oh so pretty and then at the tip you can see that the effect didn't come through strong and again that's because the product was so thin there so the more vibrant you want the effect the more product you'll need for it this color too is another one of my favorites it's so pretty you'll see but yeah, so I think Model Ones, like I said, is one of my favorite brands and they're so innovative. They're always thinking about like what the market wants, what the industry needs, what's going to be fun and cool and give you the most for your money. Their products aren't expensive anyways, but to have products that no one else has yet, that's incredible to me. They're always listening and learning and trying to determine what is needed. And I just think that's so cool. So I'll let you guys watch while I finish swatching the cat eye poly gels and I'll come back when we move on to the next product. I was kissing you with my eyes open. But you said you said keep them closed and be in the moment. So I did, I did, did my best to make you feel wanted. But what about what I want? What about what I want? And what I wanted was to crash with my dumb friends on the weekends Instead of watching a movie Thought you wanted me to be what you need Instead of being me Oh, and that's how I knew it I guess I never loved you like I love me I guess I never loved you and that's okay Okay. 
if you're too old for dreaming So I did, I did, did my best to feel what you're feeling But what about what I want, what about what I want Cause what I wanted was to laugh at the way you laugh at the As I was showing you guys all the colors, my dog decided to poke her little head in again. So, hi, Jilly. <laughs> she, like I said before, she's such a mama's girl. So these are all the colors together. And again, that purple is not indicative of, it, it's not true to what it really would look like if I had pro applied that thicker. And also the cat eye effect would be stronger had I shown it product side up but I swatch my products like that on the underside. So you were seeing the top side. So that's why it looked a little bit different that second time around. So I'm going to swatch these Born Pretty gel polishes, which also are so pretty. Before I swatch my gel polishes, I buff my tips first, because if you don't, you can end up with some peeling or your whole color swatch will pop right off the tip. So I just buff it with a 100 grit buffer or a 180 grit file, even a 220 grit file, and then cleanse it with alcohol and then I go into my swatches. That first shade that you saw, it reminds me of denim and it only needed one coat. It was opaque in one coat. And now this color, it is not done justice on camera. It looks like it's black with gold glitter on camera, but in person, it is black, but all the little glitter pieces are like multicolored. So it's like a rainbow glitter. It's, it's gorgeous. I'll try to get um, a picture inserted for you guys so you guys can see what it would truly look like. So like I said, that first denim shade, I didn't have to do a second layer on that at all. But on the blue and the black glitter, I'm just adding my second layer just so you guys can see it in its full opacity. Of course, I will top coat these after they've been fully cured and I cured in between the layers, but I'm not going to show you the top coat or anything because it wasn't part of the haul anyways. <laughs> We've also got some spider gel from Born Pretty. I didn't swatch this one for you guys because I think you all know what spider gel is, but I will use it in an upcoming tutorial. And this little thing, watch me ride the struggle bus for a minute. <laughs> I had such a hard time getting this out of the package just because it's packaged so well and nails make it kind of tough sometimes. They just do. But nails are jewels, not tools. So don't use them like tools, guys. <laughs> So I started to pour these into the top like you're supposed to, and then I went, wait, those are too big to fit in there, aren't they? So I grabbed my tweezers and decided I was gonna put them in one by one, and then went, nah, screw it, they're going in, and if they spill, they spill, whatever. <laughs> they didn't spill, but I was just like, nope, that's gonna take too long doing them one by one. So basically, this is a rubber stamper that you would use for your stamping, and it has this top that the little jewels go into, and it's just so gorgeous and it's even in it's like cut in a jewel shape it's so pretty by far the prettiest stamper i have and i definitely think it'll be the one i use from now on also the rubber head on the top of it is like a medium firmness it's very squishy which i love so it can wrap around the entire surface of the nail but it's not so firm that it like makes it difficult hard to explain but i'll go into detail in the future when i use it in another video so lastly, I've got some glitters and little decor bits by Charlie's Nail Art. I do have a discount code for them as well, and everything will be linked down below. But once I have shown you guys all these glitters and little bits and bobs and foils, then that will be it. So let me know what you guys think and which products you want to see me use first so that I can be making the content that you guys want to see. That's super important to me, so let me know down below. 
Of course, if you guys have any questions, suggestions, or requests for different sets, let me know down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Be sure to hit like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!